Yahoo YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's thought of the day, we're going to talk about perception. Specifically, how other people perceive us. I think that this is one of the hardest things about being a positive person. When you're positive, you want to share your positivity with others. So you tell other people about your positive thinking. And in the moment, those people are really happy because positivity is a novel thought and they don't encounter it very often. Usually, they'll agree to be more positive in their own life and then you'll feel happy about it to yourself. But over time, when you see that the other person doesn't change based upon what you have said to them, it builds up this emotion in you called resentment. And I have dealt with a lot of resentment in my life. I've invested a lot of my hours, a lot of my ideas into people that haven't been receptive to my receptive to my message. But you know, it's a little bit too unrealistic of an expectation to have because everyone has their own ideas. Everyone has their own perception for the world around them. And I think our job as positive thinkers is to understand that people are really not going to understand everything we say as we understand it. <clears throat> trying to convince someone that you are right without proving to them, without giving them evidence on how their, your ideas can actually work in their life, it might get them in the moment, but actually applying those things will be really difficult. And in those difficult times, the other person may or may not apply what you said in the beginning. So when coming at being positive, I think that we need to understand that our message is not going to get relayed 100% the way that we want it to, to someone else. And it really takes a lot of time to get that message closer to the 100% mark. It's not something possible in one conversation. It's not something possible in two conversations. It might take weeks, it might take months, but what I would tell you is don't let the resentment build up. Don't give in to the negativity that comes with not seeing a change in the other person. Your job as a positive thinker, your job as an influencer, is to simply be there and consistently relay the message. Because the more you relay the message, the more likely they are to act upon what you, the message you're relaying. <clears throat> That's what I was thinking about today in today's thought of the day when I was reading why people don't understand you and what to do about it. You know. Through a lot of personal experience, because I've been talking to people about positive thinking for a very long time, I've come to understand that, you know, it's less about me. I shouldn't take it personally. And I don't think you should take it personally either, when someone doesn't receive your message the way that you think they should be receiving it. We're all human, and we have to learn these things in our own way. And remember, positivity is novel. That five minute conversation is only five minutes out of the 168 hours in the week. It's impossible to expect that the other person is really going to remember and act upon those things. But you can control that factor by how much energy and time you invest into them. Some people are gonna take more energy and time than others, but it's mostly about what you want to do. What kind of person do you want to be? What impression do you wanna make? I think this is really interesting, and we're going to be thinking about it more in some videos later this week. So that's the video for today, YouTube. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Likes help me out somewhat. Leave a comment. I actually really enjoy seeing comments, and I would love to see some of your comments, some of your thoughts about positive thinking. You know, I'm still trying to learn about it myself. Subscribe to the channel. I want to get to 10,000 before the end of 2020, I think I have, a, I have some leeway, I have some leeway. But most importantly, share this video with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.